To me, that title is like quintessentially mecca. The song itself is about just some sort of weird spaceship vehicle that she's traversing the galaxies in, right? So Crystal Meth to me is like this like space duster, not even necessarily the drug. So I usually start from one of two ends on the beat. Um, that's either the drums or I start with the chord progression. In this case, I believe I started with the chord progression and I use an instrument uh, called the Wurlitzer. It's like a stock instrument in Logic, but the Wurlitzer is a vintage piano. It's the, uh, it's the close cousin of the Fender Rhodes. And you've heard the Wurlitzer if you've listened to like any of the early Ray Charles records. He made a bunch of hits with this piano. Oh, Lord, have mercy. Mercy. But this is what I came up with. You hear that like wave in it? Yeah, I know on the effects. Uh, I rolled this, uh, the mod wheel all the way forward and that gave it the tremolo effect. So it doesn't have too much of an attack, you know? And then after the chord progression is the uh, vibraphone. So you put those two together and it sounds like... By the way, the vibraphone is like totally dry. I didn't put any like effects on it or anything. It, it was just the instrument itself. Domino probably did some, some engineering to that. Shout out to Donnie Domino over at Dojo 45. Gang, gang. I believe the next thing I went to was the drums. I am a huge advocate of the Jay Dilla approach to drums and or the human approach to drums. Not everything is going to be totally lining up with the beat. But one thing I will say is you do want to find balance, right? The snare is like right on beat, but that kick is like, you know, it's all over the place and I like it like that. It gives it a vibe. Uh, I like to use this Ultra Beat drum synth in Logic. It, to me, it's the easiest thing to just load drums into and play them. Yeah, and then how those hi-hats came together is like... Uh. If y'all watch Questlove's uh, Red Bull Music Academy lecture, he explains this. The Voodoo album, D'Angelo told him to play everything as drunk as he could. And here you hear that drunkness. But it sounds crazy by itself, but once you put it in context, right, it sounds like this on top of each other. This Latin kit in uh, Logic, to me, is undefeated. It definitely adds a, a nice feng shui and juice to your beat. And then I put a, a, a tambourine on the uh, upbeats. So we had the Wurlitzer the vibraphone, and I just went through the meat of the drums, and that's what this sounds like together right now. Cool, so I'm like, okay, that's dope. I need a bass line. Any of the homies that I've produced with will tell you that I am a stickler for bass lines. Shout out to Patio. He knows this specific, I think he knows his, this best about me. Here we go, here's the Jamarcus approach to bass line. When you make your bass line, there are certain things that should come into play. Your bass line should be equally bass. Uh, the bass notes just line up with the chord progression. So the chord progression starts with C sharp, minor nine, right? That bass needs to be hitting a C sharp. But just outlining the chord progression is not enough. Like it definitely has to have movement. It has to be equally bass and melody.
If you notice that this this bass it definitely sounds real analog, real fat. There's this pedal called the Grit pedal. So at this point, I was like, okay, Jamarcus, you have a good track. It's solid. It's missing something. It needs some feng shui. For this one, I used a Contact 5 plugin. This is what we call the Mellotron Mixed Choir, what makes Crystal Meth Crystal Meth. I definitely put some platinum verb on it and I added this tremolo pedal, but this is organ tremolo, like church organ. I'm talking about like Hammond B3 with the switch on the side that sometimes doesn't work. So it emulates the sound of, of a Leslie, like a spinning sound, which is what a Leslie does. The speakers, if you look inside the back of a Leslie, you'll see that the speakers are like two horns opposite of each other. <laughs> Cool. So, it sounds real spacey, spaceship gospel type stuff. But there was one thing I needed to add, and this was just like the finishing touch. I went to the orchestral kit, and it's just this. Seems like nothing, right? But you'll be surprised what wind chimes do to a beat. It was just a beat on my laptop, and then I shot it over to Mecca, and it ended up on the fruit tape. 